counting today, just two more shows remain. And the 8th grade celebration will be here before you know it. Did you meet today's deadline? All this and more as Tomahawk Talk starts now. Hey CMS, welcome to the second to last Tomahawk Talk of the school year. I'm Landon Hill. And I'm Tamian Cruz. Landon, you mentioned a deadline in the opening. What is it about? Tavian, that deadline for today was for all library books to be returned to Miss Dino. So CMS, if you have a book that was checked out, you need to get that in ASAP. That makes sense. As with the school year winding down, we want to make sure we get things returned. It helps everyone out. It sure does. Did you go to the family fun night last night? I sure did. It was a lot of fun. We get to see all the new construction and renovations taking place. I must confess, I ate way too many hot dogs. I'm sure you'll survive. Speaking of surviving, I hope we all survive the World's a Fun trip on Monday. That is Monday, isn't it? Yep, and we're going to have fun. But what if the weather doesn't co cooperate? Oh yeah, let's check in with Trey to find out what the weather will be like, not only for this weekend, but especially for Monday. Hey. Hey CMS, I'm Trey Collins, and we need to take a look at the weather for the next five days. We've had a lot of rain this past week, but things look good for the next five. Today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 64 and an overnight low of 49. Saturday, we have a 40% chance of rain, but the high should reach 62. Sunday will be a lot better as the sun will come out and reach a high of 68. Monday is a lot warmer with a trip to Worlds of Fun, high of 73 and an overnight low of 53. And Tuesday is even better with a high near 80, mostly sunny skies, and a light breeze. With warmer temps on the rise, things are looking good in the skies. That's it for me this week. I'm Trey, sending it back to you. Thanks, Trey. I think we'll be okay. Do you know what was better than okay? What? The wax figure museum put on by the sixth graders, and here are some of those presentations. My name is King Tung, you call me and you can call me Tut. I was born in 1342 BC at the ripe old age of nine. I'm the internet. I was born in Vienna, Austria on November 2nd, 1755. I was a at 19 years old. I have just been standing here while letting Leonardo paint. My name is Lisa Gardini. Well, you may know me as Mona Lisa. Thanks to the sixth grade for their presentations. Let's take a quick break and see what else we could talk about when we get back. There's an after party after the 8th grade graduation from 739. Make sure you're here. You can play basketball. slice of pizza and drink. Bring your money for some snow cones and cotton candy. Also, we have a whole lot of games and activities planned. Remember, this is after the 8th grade celebration from 7.30 to 9. So come! Yeah, don't be lame. Probably got nothing better to do. Bring it down! Well, if you haven't marked it down yet, the 8th grade celebration is just around the corner. Tuesday, May 21st to be exact at 7 p.m. Thanks, Landon. I can handle this. Students are to wear their new t-shirts. They will get them the night of. Landon, knock it off. Afterwards, the students are encouraged to make their way back to the CMS after the party. There will be music, fun, games. Shut up. Kona ice. Landon, students should arrive at CMS by 630. And after the party, parents should be present to pick up at 9. Did you know what this past week was? What? It was teacher appreciation all week, as well as school nurse appreciation day on Tuesday. Did they get appreciated? You know, 
They did. Each day was designed for a different appreciation day. Thanks to the PAT team, Stuco, and NJHS for all they did in putting together goodies and lunch. Okay, Landon, switching gears. Here as the school year winds down, sports finished up their season last week. Let's send it to Mariah for our last sportscast of the year. With track and field finally over, we know the school year is coming to a close. That means the sports scenes are wrapping up. Last week, Braves took part in KVL Championship Invitationals, but we were not able to bring you those results. Well, today, we have them, and here are how our Braves did. playing basketball next year that includes here at CMS or at the high school boys you have until Monday to get your registration to aim money turned into coach strike if you want to secure a t-shirt for team camp now if you don't have that turned in you can still participate but the t-shirt size you may want may not be available camp starts both for high school and middle school boys on May 28th with the high school boys going in the morning while the middle school boys competing in the afternoon well guys this is going to do it for sports this week. I'm Ryan Noel, and back to you in the studio. Whoa, the year went fast. I need a break. Good call, Landon. Let's take a quick break and get this week's show wrapped up. Hi, my name is Jenna Knight. And I'm Jada Surratt. And, and we, we are, are here, here with CMS, CMS Smoke, Smoke Signal. Signal. This weekend's weather is not looking too good. Nope, rain, rain, and more rain. And chilly weather. Don't forget this weekend is Mother's Day, so be nice to your mama. Jenna! I'm getting something. You're getting something, Jada? Yeah. Breaking news. Breaking news from who? From Mr. Little. Mr. Little? The yearbooks are here. The yearbooks are here? They're here. A few moments later. Here we are, cruising to the scene. We're so ready to see these yearbooks. Buckle up. Safety first. So how excited are you to see these I am yearbooks? I'm so excited. Out? On a scale of 10. Oh my gosh, I can't even. I'm so ready. Like, I'm, so I just, ready. I'm just so happy. Like, I'm so excited. The yearbooks are here. We get I'm, to see all of our yearbooks. Oh my god, there's a year! A few moments later. All right, so as I was saying, um, journalism is really important because we need to tell stories about what's going on in what's going on. What's going on? Here. It's the yearbook! <gasps> oh my god, there's a yearbook! But what about my, I need what about my lecture? We don't care. Reporting to you at the scene! Oh my, oh my god, the yearbooks! They're here! They have arrived! Oh my god, they're here! Set, go. What we like about CMS is football. With about a week and a half left, let's check out some things you might want to know about. Of course, there is the 8th grade World of Fun trip on Monday. Tuesday will be the Cavalcade of Bands. Mr. Streit's birthday on the 16th. Locker clean out on the 17th. And our last Tomahawk talk of the school year. Boy, it is going fast. It sure is. What does that does it for us? I'm Lyndon Hill. And I'm Tamian Cruz. See, See ya! ya.